Hello guys, Tech Tony here, and today we're gonna look at the top 10 base locations for the planet Bertam in Space Engineers. Without further ado, let's get started. Here we have base location number one. This is what I call the ice steps. Uh, during the daylight, it doesn't look like much, but if I show you what it looks like without the shade of the sun, you'll see that this base location is actually very good because all those dark spots are actually patches of ice and look how many there are. This is one of the most ice rich areas that I have seen in Pertam. I'll show you the coordinates to this uh, and then we'll fly down uh, and see it up close. But the ice steps is going to be this and the coordinates are on screen right now. Uh, you feel free to pause the video, get those. Um, I'll post them also in the description below. Uh, along with all the other base locations that I find. All right. So someone flying, as you can, as you saw earlier during the daylight, cannot see very well in in the uh, deeper areas of these canyons because of the shadow created by uh, the canyon walls. So let me make it daylight again, just so we, we can see up close where the shadows would be. So you see, only the the tips of the canyons uh, receive sunlight. So therefore, you could build a base over here and the shade will also help protect you from uh, starships that are flying high above. But notice, that's a lot of ice. And it looks like it's also very rich in deposits. These white spots here are deposits. So you can get close. And I'll have to open my HUD. So it's iron. All right. Let's just fly. There's another ice patch over there. And I like that the canyons are going to present a challenge for you to reach all these uh, deposits. Plus, you could set, have multiple settlements. So if someone comes to raid they'll have to like there'll, there'll be many small outposts rather than one large one that they can focus in on and that's good because if one base of yours falls uh, you have another place to respawn and then try to defend the one that has been breached but look how much ice there is in these in this location uh, it looks like it also has, oh, this is pretty interesting. This is kind of a, the access to the canyon and this exit here. So you have access that you don't have to build your way down. You, you can enter through this area here and it has an empty lake bed as well, which is completely flat and usually is rich in resources like here, as you can see. There's some mineral deposits, like cobalt right there. So you can see these are, are very flat. But yeah, I think that showcases base location number one, the ice steps. All right, on to base location number two. Alright guys, this is base location number two. I call it the Wide Canyon. Uh, it is well protected from thunderstorms and even asteroids. Most asteroids will impact these mountains before they impact this crater of ice. It is not the largest patch of ice, but I'm sure around this, this canyon is very large and is all interconnected uh, as I'm about to show you as we're climbing up a height. 
we'll see just how large it is and if there's any other ice spots nearby there should be but yes you'll be able to yes there is there's another larger spot right next to the one we just found so already two spots of ice and this one is very large well it's it's kind of like a medium large size I've seen larger ones yes definitely a medium one but good you know one small one medium makes a large yes and this canyon it's gonna be hard for your enemies to uh, find their way down here because of how steep it is it's not a canyon you wanna drive your rover down uh, unless you know the the one way in and out and you know in per time gravity is very strong so starships are also gonna have a hard time uh, raiding your base but yeah the canyon is quite sizable and it looks like this may be the actual way out you'll probably have to engineer your way in and out of this one though but with those GPS coordinates you can just come and scout it for yourself and find your way in and out but yeah you can build into any of the walls of this canyon it's, it's a beautiful canyon actually when you look from it far away you can build on the top flat areas of the mesa but those are going to get impacted by thunder um, so the lower parts can you can easily dig into the walls and create a bunker base so that you also don't get bombarded from the sky uh, with gravity weapons and warheads um, yeah. but it, it, there's plenty of places so you don't necessarily have to build on top of the ice you can always go get ice and bring it back to your bunker uh, so that it's also not easy to spot your base. It's it's hidden inside this ca uh, canyon But yeah uh, off to base location number three. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. All right. See you there All right, here we are base location number three. I call it the steep slopes um, You can see the GPS locations on screen right now now We're going to fly it is a very good location with a very large patch of uh, ice and it is also buried in a canyon uh, one side is very tall with a mountain on top that you can uh, place a launch pad uh, and be closer to the to space I guess uh, avoid spending so much energy plus there's all this is canyons all the area around the base is canyon so uh, when you're out digging for minerals you're also going to be protected from uh, lightning bolts plus uh, it is pl uh, it has plenty of ice uh, besides that main patch of ice there is another one over here okay. yes as you can see there there's one patch of ice there and this is not that steep or narrow uh, so you'll be able to traverse it easily with a with a vehicle a rover I really like this one there's plenty of canyons and easy easy to go traverse through all of them so there's gonna be plenty of resources to to miner uh, to harvest while still being protected from th from thunderstorms I'm just trying to see if we can find a one last patch of ice and then we're gonna move on to base location number four. Oh look yes we found one so yes it's equipped with plenty of ice three patches of ice that should be oh and, and a fourth one a fourth one over here and it's a very large one so let's check that one out this is a small one here but then there is a fourth one way over here so that's pretty cool yeah oh it's 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 a double two small ones making it look like a large one. Oh, nice and one is elevated so there's like a little slope fitting for the name the slopes uh, so yeah it's it's not level it's kinda there it is it's a little angled 
but it's, it's, it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is base location. Uh, let me show you on screen again the steep slopes. There is the GPS coordinates. All right, on to base location number four. Yes. All right, guys. Here we have base location number four, which is I call the pole ice steps. This is very close to the pole, the South Pole. I'll show you. Uh, it's mostly nighttime though, so sunlight is gonna be in short supply on this one. Uh, but if you see over there, there's another mound just across that canyon. That one is the actual pole. And when we shift the day, the sunlight, you will see that the sun rotates around that mound. You see? So if you want it that that's very close to the 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 slope the the previous base that we saw so these these two bases are very close together the base we saw previously was just behind that mountain uh, now why is this base really good this is very close uh, like the ice steps that we saw uh, it, it, this canyon is hard to spot because of the the shadows plus it's full of ice just like the the steps so these two locations are it doesn't have as much ice as the other one i as i remember but you'll see it has plenty of it here's one patch decent size all right there's another one over here And again, this canyon is easy to traverse. So you'll be able to access all these spots and you can settle multiple outposts on each of these ice locations. So if people come to raid, you always have places to respawn all around with hydrogen, oxygen, and everything you need. Uh, so there's one ice. Look at that, look at that massive one right up ahead. This is a alpha base location, just like the ice steps we saw. So those are the two best locations, I think. Look, there's another patch of ice right there. No energy. In the wow, there's this ice everywhere. Look at that. All those black spots are uh, ice. Look at that. There's a massive one there. And then we didn't see the other large one that should be behind us. So I'm turning the camera around. Wow, look at that. Even more ice. Even more ice. Look at that. Right now on camera, there's six patches of ice. Look at that. Even more. So yeah, guys show you the coordinates one more time I think these this is the largest this these ones are large but look at that plus there's mountains so you can easily dig a bunker into these but yeah they're all very large deposits of ice and it's there's also deposits of all kinds of minerals all around like I'll show you here nickel Silicon. Over here we have what? More nickel. Yeah, but all around there's gonna be plenty of resources, and these canyons should be all interconnected, so you should be able to traverse with your with your rovers. But yeah, all right. Uh, on to base location number five. All right, guys, here we have base location number five, and I call it the peaks. And as you can see, it is a tall location. So it's not the the lowest, which is very good, actually, because even though it's tall and, um, and elevated, it is still protected by by canyon walls. Uh, there is ice all over as well, 
Uh, this one is far away from all the other base locations that we've seen. So if you want to switch it up, I have uh, settled over there. There's a large ice deposits where you see that signal beyond. Let me just make probably make it nighttime and show you. Let me see if this adjusts a little bit better. So there, there it is. The contrast is adjusting now and we can see four patches of ice right next to each other. Uh, there's an empty lake bed which has um, a magnesium which is a rare element in, in Pertam. There's another ice patch over here and two more over in the distance all connected by land so we can easily access all like seven patches of ice. Uh, looks like there's a canyon here so I'll keep looking that direction and see what we find but yeah this is a very good base location with plenty of ice easy access and even a tall area that you can create a launch pad with hydrogen already there for your rockets to shoot up to space but yeah I'll see you in base, lo base location number six all right guys we have base location number six I call it the crown uh, right now we can see only a small patch of ice but I had to show you this base location because it is a very good um, you know to make an aesthetic base if you're not playing PvP it is a, definitely a very good place to choose because of this um, right next I just wanted to show you where the ice is there's gonna be ice all around here as well uh, it's not as as common as in the other base locations but um, I think just these pillars and mesa make up for it the the lack of ice um, it, it has a flat middle I don't know th this area kind of called out to me and said like oh someone might like to know where this is to build a base here uh, so that you can bit because everything around it is flat and then you have these five peaks like stand, uh, stand uh, in, in the middle of nowhere so it kind of seemed like a, a good landmark to build something maybe a suspended base uh, with like tunnels connecting each of these pillars together uh, and, and then you have the interior of the base uh, inside each rock that would have been pretty cool so that's kind of what I thought uh, but yeah let's see let's just take a quick look around and see if we can find some ice I'm gonna do the trick turning it into nighttime so that we get the contrast uh, and the shadows disappear so let's make it nighttime there it is and now the contrast should start adjusting there it is it's adjusting now all right we can definitely see better I'm zooming out those are the four peaks uh, well there is ice over there I see it in the distance and that seems like bigger than the one we saw earlier um, yeah the, the the crown that marker or where my cursor is right now is where the ice that we started in was and then over here where my cursor is now there's a second patch of ice which looks like it's larger uh, so yeah that's pretty cool base location Oh, interesting. I think that's another patch of ice in in the mountain. So yeah, there's ice. There's ice nearby. So if you like those mesa right there, those mountains, then that's your your base. All right, on to base location number seven. All right, guys. Boy, do I have a good base here. Uh, I call this one the stain. This is going to be base location number six, and it is a massive patch of ice. Massive, massive. Plus, it's easily accessible, although it doesn't have that much protection from thunder. It does have quite. It, it does have some somewhat of a canyon to protect it, but it doesn't matter. As soon as I saw this massive patch of ice, I had to park it because this is this is like all the ice an entire faction would need um, but yeah so you could definitely 
claim that and then build somewhere around these canyons that are steeper so that you are protected kind of like in here I would build around here so you're protected from thunder if you're gonna build in the surface but as I teach you guys in PvP you should build underground uh, if you're playing PvE then yeah you you can build on the surface of course but PvP it's not really good to build on the surface so you can just dig a hole in the ice claim it and then live under uh, down there um, but yeah, this is a very nice base location. It is easy to traverse. It has uh, lots of mesas, very beautiful environment. Um, so it's pretty cool base location with this massive spot of ice right here. Let me show you again the GPS locate coordinates for the stain. There they are. All right, on to base location number seven. All right, guys, here we are. Base location number eight. What am I? all-time favorites I call this the pole I pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is the North Pole but this is a very tall peak very tall mountain uh, one of the tallest in Holpertam the actual everything starts sloping upwards and culminates in this peak uh, which is the pole because if you see it never hits at nighttime there's always sunlight that goes all around this cloud top mesa so it's gonna be shadows around uh, but if you're on the top of the mesa uh, you will you will see sunlight all the time now it comes equipped with two ice locations there is one right there and you can definitely build into this and create a bunker there's mineral deposits all around this mountain and this is why it's my all-time favorite look at what's in here this is perfect location for a rocket silo so you start digging downwards here and you're gonna get ice or you can just build a very small outpost here very inconspicuous no one's gonna find you look at this and get your ice here and dig into the walls here and make a bunker or something but this is one of my all-time favorite base locations not just because it's the pole and you get endless sunlight you can just build a sun array uh, solar panels up here but because it has plenty of ice and it's a tall perfect place to create a, a launch pad a rocket silo to launch into space you can even see the alien planet in the distance so it's not going to be difficult for you to find your way towards the alien planet if you're if that's where you're headed uh, from this location but yeah the cloud top mesa let's call it the cloud top mesa this is uh one of the best uh, locations um and very out of the way it's it's the opposite pole of the planet so you can pick either poles we we saw both uh, in this video so yeah uh, on to base location number nine all right guys we have base location number nine and this is a very nice canyon here very small canyon but it has plenty of ice big a deposit right there below us and you can build here kind of like an observatory and see for a long distance around uh, easy access in and out so you can definitely go in and create drills and uh, harvest the deposits nearby uh, very good place and what makes it really special as well is that there is very little ice anywhere besides here like all around is dunes of sand even around this plateau and this plateau doesn't have um ice there's kind of like ice over in the, those mountains by the cursor but very little very little at all and that means your enemies are gonna have a hard time creating an outpost nearby while they're trying to raid you plus these give you kind of coverage you can place turrets on top of this or uh, these mesas these clown top mesas so that if anyone is trying to drop bombs those turrets get to the bombs and start shooting at the bombs below before they hit your base but it doesn't matter because you're not even going to do that you're going to build into the wall 
of these canyons and create a bunker so that people don't bomb you. They don't even know where the bunker is. Uh, and then protect all this with turrets, harvest the ice from here, and you're good to go. Uh, it, these are also going to help keep your location hidden because people are flying around are going to have a hard time finding or seeing you because of the shadows created by these tall canyons. So I think this is a prime spot, a really stealthy. Uh, so yeah, let's let's call it. I haven't marked it. Let me show you the GPS locations. Let's call it the the hidden corner, uh, something like that. I don't know. Hidden Grove. Hidden Grove. So yeah, this is a good one also to protect you from asteroids. Asteroids never fall perpendicularly down. Uh, they always fall in an angle, so there is very little chance that you get hit. The only way an uh, asteroid hits you is if, if it comes in through the side of the base. Uh, but yeah, so it's not fully protected. But yeah, that's why you build a bunker still. Good area, very tall uh, point in the planet. So it is a good place to create a launch pad to fly up, as you can see here. Planetary gravity started decreasing. We're, we're at 1.15 right here. So very easy to get, uh, reach space from this location. You can even see the, the, the atmosphere. We're almost at the edge of the atmosphere here. So this is a very, very good location. A flat area here to create a launch pad for your rockets. Uh, bring them back down and then create a connection into your bunker, which is in the stone inside the stone but yeah hope you like base location number nine the hidden grove all right guys here we are finally base location number 10 left the best for last so here we are in the oasis canyon what i call and i'm going to show you the coordinates now here they are oasis canyon they, they're on the screen right now feel free to pause and here we go so I wanted to show you this base location from high above because what makes this base location very special is that it has nothing around it everything is just endless desert sand dunes and then this massive scar canyon so it means that there's very little ice for your enemies to use as fuel uh, to, to recharge or refuel their their your spacecraft while they're trying to raid you but look what uh, this canyon even though everything around is is uh, barren this canyon is equipped with one of the largest deposits of ice in all of Pertam uh, and it also hits all the marks it's very difficult for asteroids to hit you it's very difficult for uh, lightning storms to hit you as well and there is plenty of resources within this canyon for you to dig and find everything you need because it's just massive uh, it's all interconnected so you can have a large rover and traverse the, the entire canyon and uh, yeah you should pretty much have everything you need in this canyon all the resources you need and plenty of ice more ice than you need so here it is I think this is a very very good lo base location it's nice uh, low on the ground so even though you have the full uh, force of gravity you don't have to worry about oxygen at all Indeed. oxygen is always uh, rich and warm uh, the, the environment is always warm too so you're, you're gonna be this is pretty much as good as it gets in per time I would say uh, it's difficult for your enemies to find their way down to the canyon using rovers uh, so you will have to you'll you'll have control of the way in and out you'll have to build a kind of like your way out of this canyon but once you do once you do that's the only way in and out you know so you can you can regulate and control that that entry uh, otherwise your your enemies are gonna have to like start building their way down here um, because they well they, they can roll a rover down but they're not gonna get get that rover out 
uh, unless uh, you know they build uh, a ramp out of this canyon so yeah you build your ramp and then put turrets on it so that it's protected and and other players cannot use it but you so yeah very good very good base location plenty of canyons to go around explore look for resources and more ice that you're ever gonna need there might even be other resources beneath the ice as well so let's check that out yeah look at that silver there's silver along with the ice what else so yeah very good very good base location all this is ice this is just ice. even though it says it, it shows up as sand all that is ice but yeah if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell um, I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, before you go leave me a comment below and tell me which planets you want me to uh, do a, a video if you enjoyed this one I, I i can do a top 10 base locations for uh, other planets like earth or the moon or mars i think mars would be a good one but what do you think let me know in the comments down below and hope to see you in the next one guys bye